Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout to create the fulfilling life they dream about. Because all of us have dreams, of course. So today's topic is, if you haven't listened to my videos before, is about thinking traps. Now we all get in the trap of thinking and we think a lot, we think all the time, we drive down a road to our favorite grocery store or meeting our friends and thinking about something. So always thinking. But the idea is now, do we cut, get caught in traps? A trap can be this. I'll give an example of my trap. Years ago, I had a buddy of mine I used to look up to, right? So for me, as I told you before, if you listen to my videos, that I didn't go to college. I kind of got it working for us. You know, a lot of things happened. But you know what? I was like 21, 22 years old, 18, 19. You know, you don't know anything, right? So I had this friend of mine, and I always wanted what he had. So I would think I'm just not lucky enough to have that, that... This person is lucky that they have everything I always desired. When reality, what came down to it is I thought I couldn't have it. So I would say, like, I would say to compare, my, compare myself to him as far as, oh, he, he got, went to school for at least a year. But he didn't have a degree, okay? Let's put it like that. He went to school for a year. So I would always think, oh, he's better than me and, you know, all this stuff. You always like to kind of, I guess, play yourself up. That he's this wonderful person and obviously... It will play along with my self-esteem because at the idea is that people naturally are, are animals. And I'll put it out there because they tend to play upon your emotions. Like you meet a person that's a narcissist. They play upon your weakness. They play upon your emotions. This person will play upon my emotions and make me feel about this small. Well, you know, you should go to school or you can do things this way. But my credit score, my wife, I'm getting married. I spend this amount of money. I'm proud of this place. All these things that I wanted to do because I think I couldn't have it because they're lucky. So the point about the story is now being almost 38, 37 now, is I used to think that, man, I, I, I want to do what he has. And now I can. See, I used to think that he's smarter than me or he thought he's better than me. And in reality, he's not. We're all good at something. We're all better at something. But my thinking trap was, this person's better at me. Better than me at certain things. I can't have it. It's not going to be me. No, I'm hurt. And those are what we call thinking traps. We caught in this idea of what is when we haven't challenged them. What we think will happen when we haven't challenged those, those items. And the reason I'm telling you is just now I'm going to college to get my degree. <laughs> so we can do anything we want once we put our mind to it and get out of thinking traps as that way we can't have it. Number two thinking trap is I think I was poor relationships. So I would think God bless me the fact I'm poor relationships. There would be good ones, there would be bad ones, be all kinds of different things. But in reality, the number one common denominator was me. And once I started changing my behaviors of this thinking trap of, oh, you can't trust women or all oh, women are liars or whatever it may have been. Once I changed myself, relationships got better. That can be with friends and definitely personal, intimate relationships. And that's what the thinking trap is. So get yourself out of thinking trap is challenge yourself. Is that true? What has got me in a situation so that way I believe it is true? Like you can say, well, I got a job that sucks. Okay, so what have you done to get in this relationship? This, not relationship, in this job that sucks. Did you not look for another job? Did you not get a good interview? What has really transpired? Another big thinking trap is that we create mind reads. Meaning my mind reads that we think something's going to happen. You think you're going to have a bad review at your job. You think you're going to go on a bad date. You think you're going to lose all your money. And we get caught in these kind of, I guess, mind reads of what people are doing. And then at the end of the day, they're not really true. So if you want to learn more about thinking traps and how to change your life, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Hit on that schedule that free call with me. And let's connect. Let's talk about how we can get out of thinking traps and live a feeling like the dream about. And always, thanks for listening.